Hi. Uh, if I recall correctly from our last example, we had uh, a few kind of loose, end, uh, loose ends uh, hanging that we needed to tie up. One of them was the fact that between our mobile site and our pool site, we might have some content that we were going to share between them. And maybe not exactly share 100%, but have almost the same content, maybe slightly customized for one versus the other. But in essence, we wanted to share a, a piece of content. That was, that was one of the loose ends that we needed to address. The other loose end that we needed to address is that there may be some uh, occasion where um, someone that is browsing the, the site via a mobile device might want the full version anyhow because maybe the functionality that they want isn't available on the mobile site or whatever. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at how my example accommodates those. All right. Um, first of all, if you'll notice that both in the full and in the mobile um, example, there's a line of code that sets a PHP variable named full to either true or false. Here is the mobile version, and if you notice a line, PHP full equals false, in the mobile version, sets that variable to false for the, the mobile version of the page. In the desktop version, that same variable is set to true. All right. We're going to use that variable uh, in a minute to sort of um, do a little bit of customization uh, with some shared content. All right, so as far as sharing content between the mobile and the uh, desktop version, uh, one uh, idea that is um, very useful in PHP is the idea of an include file. In the include file, you can put any piece of code that you want to that you want shared between multiple pages. So even if you're not doing a mobile site, even if you just have a bunch of pages for your, for your full site, there might be a chunk of code, for example, the navigation or a header or something along those lines that you want shared. And the way that you use include files is like this. You put in your code the word include, all right, followed by the name of the file. You can download this code, by the way. I just wanted to point out exactly uh, where it is in it, so I would encourage you to download the code. But, again, you can see through here, the last couple lines where it says PHP include, that's bringing in the contents of another file. Uh, and it's just like it copies and pastes it in there. So, if we were to look at the two include files that we have, I had one called full and one called... Um, uh, full only and one called common code or something like that. I only, uh, I'm only going to show one of them. This is the include file for the common code. All right. And in an include file, you can put any kind of code that can be on a PHP page. That is, you can put HTML, you can put JavaScript, you can put PHP. In this particular case, I have this chunk of common code that has content common to both the mobile and the full version. And it's mainly HTML. But if you notice, smack dab in the middle of it, I have an if statement that tests that variable full. And it tests and it determines whether it's true or false. If it's true, that variable full is true, it means that we're on the full site. If the variable is set to false, it means we're not on the full site, we're on the mobile site. So in this particular case, I have this piece of common content that's shared between the full and the mobile site but I have one piece of that content, the image, uh, in the middle, that does not appear on the mobile site. It only appears on the full site. So we can use include files to take a common piece of code and put it between our mobile and full version of the site. And then through if statements, we can uh, even customize it a little bit for either the full or for the mobile. All right? So the second thing that I wanted to talk about is what if you're on the mobile site and you actually want the full site? You can imagine if you type in the URL again, it's going to go through the same bit of redirecting you back to the mobile. What I've done on the mobile site is I've created a link to the full site. If you look on the bottom of the page, it says ahref equals index PHP, question mark, 
spool equals y. So I'm creating a link to the index page, but I'm setting a query string variable of full to yes. We're going to use that on the index page to stop the redirection from happening. All right. So if we look at the full page again, notice that along the top, Right after the big giant if statement, there is an if is set dollar sign underscore get full equals false. What we're doing there is we're looking for the presence of that query string variable of full. If that variable is there, that means that the full site is desired. And therefore, the redirection doesn't happen. Okay? So that way, if we have a link to click from the mobile site to the full site, and we pass that value on the, on the query string, it will no longer do the redirection. So people that are visiting the mobile site can go and see the full site uh, if they want. All right, so that really was the two loose ends uh, that were hanging from this example. The one is how to share code, uh, and you can do that via include files. Um, besides just sharing code, again, we can even customize some of that content through the use of the if statements uh, in the include file. Um, and then how to allow the mobile site to be able to view the full site if that's what the user chooses. And what we can do is we can pass something on the query string to indicate that uh, a visitor of the mobile site wants to see the full version. Um, the page then will not redirect people with that, again, provided that we write the code properly to test for the value on the query string. And if the value on the query string is present, then we do not do the redirect. All right. Uh, I'm going to post this video uh, to YouTube as I post all the lecture videos, and there will be an activity for you to do on Angel. Um, so if you have any questions at all, um, let me know, and we'll see you next week.